In this video, we're going to be checking out the Mattel Wonder Woman Shield Block Wonder Woman. One thing I should mention though is she didn't come with this display stand. I just made use of that because the figure, just by the nature of the way that she stands and the gimmick, she unfortunately doesn't really stand. She t kind of topples over. Um, I didn't actually pick up this figure as much as it was available in that Wonder Woman uh, unboxing press box that I got in one of those in that video. You can actually go back. You know what? I'll put the link down below to that video if you guys want to head over there and uh, see me unbox it on camera. But uh, this was one of the pieces that I got inside and wanted to have a look at it independently. Uh, it is Wonder Woman. And uh, it, it initially I thought it was actually more like a Barbie. But it's not so much a Barbie because it doesn't actually have as much the posability as a Barbie. Um, and it does rely again more on a gimmick. I'll show you guys the gimmick in a second. She does come with two accessories. accessories one of which being the gold shield here which has a very minimum amount of paint. And by minimum, I mean, actually, there's no paint. It's just a gold shield. I suppose you could say it's been painted in gold, but it looks like it's been more so cast in gold. It clips very easily to her one arm. And actually, this is the arm that you would want to keep it on based on the way that, you know, the, the gimmick, the, I'll, I'll show you in a second. I'll show you in a second. She does also come with her sword, which actually has the same gold in the handle as that of the shield. The actual blade has some nice sculpting there on the actual blade portion, and it is painted in silver. Looks quite nice. You know what, before we actually do anything else, let's have a look at the figure itself. I have to admit though, the, the face is actually quite pretty. You know, if, if I was, I'm imagining myself, not so much a <clears throat> mid-30s gentleman, but if I'm imagining myself as a young child, a young girl perhaps, or a young boy, uh, I actually think this is a pretty looking uh, Wonder Woman. The head sculpt and face sculpt for a girl's Barbie-esque style of doll actually uh, does look quite good and has long flowing hair. She's got her little tiara there as well. And uh, she does have, well, you can see that her head hinges up and down. Again, that's all because of what I'll show you in a second. Uh, some nice coloring there also in her her top torso there and her skirt, which is a soft rubbery, kind of rubbery plastic. Unfortunately, I got a little bit of paint. A little bit of paint right there on the thigh portion of her leg. And then again, she's got her boots, which feel again like they're Kind of more of a softer rubber up here and a more denser plastic down below. And you can even see that they've sculpted in the feet. Um, I haven't actually tried taking off one of the shoes, the boots. I don't know if you actually can. Uh, it looks like it might possibly be glued. Let's, oh, no, actually, it's not. See, I didn't actually try that. But you can take her boots off. Um, I don't imagining that I don't think that there are interchangeable outfits for this particular Wonder Woman. Maybe maybe more for the Barbie themed Wonder Woman Wonder Woman Wonder Woman figures. Um, I guess it's neat that they had the boots removable. Uh, there's the back of the figure. Let's move her hair out of the way. And you'll see that there is a lever right there, a big old lever. Now the lever actually you can do two different things with this with this particular shield block Wonder Woman. Uh, one of which you can go ahead and take the shield and attach it just to her forearm like so. You could put the sword in, you know what, we'll put the sword in too. And actually, you know what, before we do that, let's run through her posability. Her head does rotate, despite the fact that it still has that hinge up and down for the gimmick, but her head does rotate all the way around. Let's try to move her long flowing hair out of the way while we're at it. Uh, the arms hinge outward. This arm actually hinges outward as well, despite the fact, again, that she is going to use make use of this arm as well. She has bend in the elbows. Uh, it doesn't look like you can rotate the forearms. Uh, you can, actually. You can rotate the forearms. And uh, it doesn't look like you can do anything in the wrists. 
the legs hinge back and forth. This one doesn't so much, but this one hinges back and forth. And she's got a hinge in the knees. That's basically, in a nutshell, that is Wonder Woman's posability. All right, so let's talk gimmicks. We'll take her shield. We'll attach that to her arm. And while we're at it, we can also take her sword. Why not? Might as well have both. And we'll attach that into her other arm. All right. Oops. Let's try and get it completely in her hands there. There we go. Make sure her hair's out of the way. I can only imagine the hardships in life of having really, really long hair that's always in your face. Luckily, I don't have that. All right. So again, we'll look at the different options for what you can do with her. For starters, you're going to have that little switch on the back that we already talked about. And that switch, when you press it down, so watch what I do. I'm going to press it down like this. When you press it down, the shield moves up. It hinges upward. And what you can always do too is bend the arm like so and hinge it up. And she's got like a way kind of to pr protect herself. She's got the little shield guard sort of thing. The other thing that she does, which is actually kind of cool, um, unfortunately, again, it makes her a little harder to stand. But the other thing that you can do is take the figure, kind of grab her by the waist. And a lot of it is basically on this leg. This is the leg that that's going to do everything. Uh, when you crouch the figure, she'll actually bend her head down and she'll kind of lunge forward. Watch, 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 watch. So you're going to press this and... Again, you'll see that it bends the legs and it brings the shield right up. And generally you can get it to work every single time, uh, providing that you're kind of bending both knees. If you bend one, obviously it doesn't do it as good, but you're going to have to kind of keep the legs together. And again, you just press, you're just pressing the figure down. And the key is to try to get both feet planted down and apply evenly on both of them and then that you'll get a successful hinge which sometimes does slide especially on a on this backdrop but there you have shield block wonder woman she basically lives right up to her name she blocks herself with her shield pretty cool gimmick i have to admit um again i i wish that there was a way that you could actually have gotten the figure I know gimmick, you know, I get the fact that the gimmick would have to be the predominant cell for this particular this particular doll of Wonder Woman. But I wish that actually there was a way that not necessarily the legs spread, but a, a, if something that was like a little, uh, well, again, like a display base, I just kind of use this one to get her to properly stand. Because she's a nice looking doll that, you know, if I was a child which sometimes I wish I was, but if I was a child and I'd want to display this Wonder Woman, I'd want to be able to, even if they had put like a little bottom base that had the like little hold areas where you could sit the feet in it and it would prevent the figure from toppling over. Because uh, it, it's a nice looking figure. I just wish that you would be able to actually get her to stand as well. Uh, the small little nitpick of having her not be really be able to stand properly. I guess you could somewhat angle the feet forward. No, she doesn't really doesn't really stand all that well. Despite the fact that she doesn't stand very well, I think it's actually a really pretty looking Wonder One. I like the accessories, and I think for the most part, the gimmick is actually pretty successful. It does exactly what it needs to do, and it kind of again looks like Wonder Woman. Maybe in No Man's Land, she's blocking herself with the shield. It does kind of look like that. Again, uh, a more stable surface. And I'll hold the legs. A more stable surface would allow the gimmick to work a lot better. But there it is once again. Not a bad, again, not a bad looking figure. Just wish she could probably stand a little bit better. Today we were checking out something a little bit different. The Mattel Wonder Woman Shield Block Wonder Woman which is now currently in stores. If you guys like this video, certainly hit it with a like. And if you like Wonder Woman, would you actually believe there's a Wonder Woman playlist just for you? Well, it might be actually for other people as well, but if you are a fan of Wonder Woman, it might be right up your alley. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching, as you always do. 
certainly stay tuned. More videos are heading your way as well. See you next time.